Hi guys, I'm back. I know you've heard me say that so many times and I've promised that I was going to keep making videos, which I haven't, but now over the time I haven't been posting, I realized how much I liked posting and how fun YouTube is with all of you guys and everything, so I'm back this time. Don't? <laughs> I am. I'm back. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to search Forge on Google, just like this, and then go to the, um, go to Minecraft Forge link. Now, one thing I have to warn you about is that not these, all of these um, websites you'll be downloading mods from are safe. Like, there's very few that are trusted. So, I would highly, highly recommend having a virus scanner with you or a parent helping you download it just so you don't download any viruses and get your computer ruined. But anyways. Okay, so here on the side is Minecraft versions. You just pick the version of Minecraft that you want to download the mod for. So, all ev okay, so if you download a mod for 1.11.12, every single mod has to be for that game version or it won't work. So make sure that everything's 1.11.2. I usually just press this one. doesn't really matter, but... Okay, so once you go to this page, do not press anything. Like, this is 100% like a virus. Don't click it. I, like, don't. Wait up here for it to say skip, and then click that once. And then down here, Forge will download. So once you have Forge downloaded to your computer, um, you're gonna find you're gonna go into your files and then go into downloads, and then you should see it in um, your downloads folder. So um, you can just drag it out to your desktop if you want, and then just double click this, and then let, wait for it to open up, and then click install client, and then just make sure just leave it the rest how it says, and then click OK. Okay, now it's set successfully um, downloaded it. So now you can just um, launch your Minecraft. Now make sure it wasn't um, launched before, and if it was, close it and then reopen it. Um, see, now you're going to, well, that, mine was already downloaded, but you're going to go to Launch Options, and then you're going to click Add New, and then under Latest Release, click it, and, to, and then scroll down until you see the version that you downloaded, which I can't remember which one. But anyways, you click the version you downloaded, it's going to say Forge and then whatever numbers it was for you, and then click it, and then name it however you want, so you can say Forge 1.12.2 or whatever, and then save it. After you save it, you go into the news, and it should say play, and the uh, new thing you selected, and if not, just click this arrow, and then scroll until you find it, and then click it, and then you should be fine. Um, okay, so that's just getting Forge set up, so now for the mods part you can you can really go to any mod creator that you want for this video i'm just gonna go to my um mr cray because he's my favorite mod creator so he's one of the trusted ones that i would definitely get some mods from but anyways go to his website oh <laughs> go to his website go under mods and then just select a mod you want so i'm gonna do the furniture mod just for this video okay so you're gonna go here, go down to downloads now remember how I told you to download directly to one version so whatever version of forge you downloaded you have to download that version for this so all you do is you click the download button here and then just wait for it to be done and then it should pop up down here if you're using mr. crayfish and then keep and then you're gonna wait for it to finish up all right, now show and folder. Okay, so let me minimize this really quick. So you're gonna search. This is how you get to your mods folder. Okay, you go, you um, you go to the search bar down here. Percent app data percent, and then go to this file folder. Click dot Minecraft. Go into the um mods folder if you have one, but most of you guys aren't going to have one, so you can, all you do is right click, new folder, and then just name it mods, but so now keep this file open, and then hover over this, see how it shows your download for the mod, all you do is click and drag that into your mods folder, and then it should be in there, but I'm pretty positive I already had that mod, yeah, I did. But I just have the up, more updated version. So I'm going to delete the old one. Okay. Now, all you do is rerun Minecraft all over again. To know if the download worked, it's going to... It, the Minecraft launcher is going to look different than it used to. It's going to show this screen right here. This is the Forge loading screen. 
So if you don't see this, something went wrong, and I would go back and make sure you did everything right. Just take it one step at a time, do it slowly. And then, yeah. Also, this really depends on how much storage you have on your computer. So you see how this says four, um, 4,096 megabytes? That's how much storage you allowed it to have. So for whatever reason, if your mods aren't working, a big chance of that is because you didn't give your um, the game enough storage to run off of. So it's not going to be able to work. So if anyone has that problem, just leave a comment and I can help you guys fix that and show you how to add more storage to the game. But yeah, ignore how many mods I have. For you, it should say three or four mods. And then if you really want to make sure the mod downloaded, you can go into this and then just scroll down to find it. I'm going to make a new world mod. Okay. Oh, geez. All right. My Minecraft looks different because I have shaders, but anyways, let me ignore all the other mods. Okay, so I'll show you that it worked. I'm going to go over here. Now, when you go into your um, inventory or whatever, if you're in creative, you should see that you have these two little arrows. And then if you click it, it takes you to different pages. So here's the new mod that I downloaded, and it shows you all the new stuff that you've added to your game. And just like that, you got a bunch of new mods. So... That's really it for downloading mods, and now all you have to do, since you already have Forge, now if you want to get more mods, all you have to do is download the mod, drag it to the mods folder, and then you're done. So, hope you guys liked this video, and hopefully it helped you. If not, leave a comment on any issues you're having, and I might be able to help you. Leave a like on this video, and I'll be posting more videos like this, or from any other games you guys suggest. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.